In this lesson, we're going to add a section to showcase your clients. You know, I'm sure you've been to certain websites sometimes when you scroll at the bottom or on the side or somewhere on the site, they have our clients. So let's add that. You click on the add on and you click on clients. And I'm just going to put the title here, our clients. Okay, so now when you come here, you have client per row. This is just saying how many you know clients do you want per row, and what's going to happen is that you can put you know images and link it to the client so it goes to their website, and you can choose the alignment here. Do you want it to be left, center, or right? So let's come down here and at the first client. So I'm going to grab this logo here. And then just change and you know with the with the clients too you want to make sure that you know they have a similar sizes or the exact same size because it is going to look so much better if you have one client that their you know the logo is very small and you know not that visible when you have another client that their logo is very visible then it's going to be a mismatch Okay, so we'll have to get one more here, and that is Facebook. Okay, so now I've selected these four, and you can put in the links to their website. And google.com. So once you've put in the links to their website, now you're ready to just click save and take a look to see what it looks like so this is what you have based on the settings that we had on the back end so this is what it comes in if you click on each one it's going to take you to their respective uh, website so click here that takes you to Facebook you click Google that takes you to Google so you can change it let's just make some changes here and if you want to instead of four instead of having four you know items per row you can change that to two and you can put it to center so when you change that to this format you notice that the layout changes so that's why I said earlier that you want to make sure that all the logos are the same sizes you don't want something that one's too big you know out of place you know it just doesn't look clean or professional but you have a lot of flexibility. You can come back there and change it and 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 set it up so that it matches with your website. If you want it to be this size, if you want it to be you know vertically, or if you want it to be horizontal, then you have the option of doing that on the back end.